Good day. Do you have a group policy object, better known as a GPO, in Windows Active Directory that you want to restrict to just a few users, but you don't want to apply it to just an, a particular OU or organizational unit? You should be able to use Windows Active Directory GPO security filtering, but there's a catch. Unfortunately, it's easy to get around, so let's get started and show you how to do it. I've got this policy called desktop icons and startup sh uh, shortcuts. And by default, it applies to authenticated users. It applies to everyone. There's a couple of ways I could filter this one. I could apply it only to an OU. But if I want to apply it to just to specific users, regardless of where they are, the best way to do it is with security filtering. Now, there's a really interesting quirk that came about in 2016 when Microsoft made a security change. So if you do what comes naturally, it won't work. And it's quite frustrating. Um, fortunately, it's a very easy fix. So let's go through and show you how to do this. What you first want to do is remove authenticated users. It'll pop up a message saying this is a bad idea. Thank you, Microsoft, for worrying about me, but I don't need to. Click Add. And who do I want this to apply to? Well, in this case, I just wanted to apply to my test user, which is test one. But uh, I could uh, also go create a group. So let's go to, uh, this is probably the easiest way. In real life, this is what most people are going to do. They're going to go create a group. So I'll just create a group here. Uh, new group. Okay, so I'm going to call this desktop and startup icons GPO and click OK. You don't have to call it GPO. Let's just put I do so I know what the heck it's for. And in here, I'm going to add the members when I only have one because I'm just running a lab here. So, but, so it's kind of silly to do it for just one, but I think you get the idea. So let's get out of this, close that now. Now I can apply the security filtering to that group, which I call desktop something or other. There it is. Now, check what happens here. By the way, this isn't going to work. So I'm going to force this and nothing's going to happen. And it's going to be really frustrating. If you do a GP result slash R to see the results, nothing in no real information is going to show up there. Let me show you what just happened. Very frustrating. Since 2016 or somewhere around 2016 anyway, there's a quirk, which is you have to go into delegation and for a policy to be applied, you need two things. You need read and apply. So let's go into advanced in the bottom right here. And our group has read and apply. So if you read the articles, you go, wow, I'm done. Why isn't this working? Okay. Also, authenticated users requires read access. And you say, but that doesn't make any sense. I had this group or these specific users, whichever way you've done it, have read access. Yeah, I know, but that's just the way it is. So select authenticated users. Click OK and give them read permission. Now you think, but if I do that, everybody will get this again. No, they won't. Go into authenticated users and you'll see they have read, but they do not have apply. So let's go to advanced. Authenticated users have read, but they do not have apply. OK, super strange, but that's the way it is. And when you go back to scope, you'll see it's still just limited to that security group. OK, so let's go do another refresh. Now this group policy is going to add a shortcut to the desktop. Oh, this didn't work. Why didn't it work? It didn't work because the user, this test one user, was not part of the group when it signed in. And you'll recall basic Windows stuff. Windows only checks what groups you're in when you sign into a machine. So if you add somebody to a group after the fact, it doesn't work. They have to log off and log in. So let's do that. Right click and we'll log back in. Yes, by the way, this is all being done in a in Azure lab. All right. And I want to snap this over there. And there it is. So you see my website showed up. And if I go to startup, Notepad should be there. Come on, baby! Yes! And Notepad 
will start up automatically because we just signed in. There it is. Now keep in mind, I didn't launch that manually. That was done purely through the GPO. Pretty cool, eh? So where you might want to use that actually is in Outlook. We see that a lot. I get a lot of requests to have Outlook start automatically. So pretty neat, eh? So that is how you set a GPO to be filtered to specific users. You can also change that from a user to a computer. You can limit it to certain machines. So that, that policy only applies on certain machines. Hey, if you found this useful, please give us a like. It's really helpful with the Google algorithms. And if you like this type of thing, please subscribe. Very helpful again. Please leave a comment below. If we don't get back to you, somebody else will. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.